This necklace is so beautiful. It has subtle shades of purple, yellow, and white. You'll need supplies and tools. You'll need chain. You'll need 12 puka shells, 12 citrine chips, two ametrine chips. You'll need a piece of 22 gauge wire. I cut this 11 inches. You'll need 12 spacer beads. These are four millimeters. You'll need your shell. You'll need three jump rings and I already put one of the jump rings on the shell. You'll need chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, bent chain nose pliers, and flush cutters. We're going to start by wire wrapping one of the ends. So I'm going to come in with my chain nose pliers, bend it to the back, come in with my round nose pliers, bring the wire up, over, down, rotate my pliers, bring the wire to the back. I'm going to pinch the loop down that I just made and then I'm going to come in with my bent chain nose pliers and wire wrap it around. Now I'm going to cut off the excess. and I'm gonna pinch down the little burr. Now we can start stringing on our shells and our spacer beads and our gemstones. I'm gonna start with one bead. I'm gonna put on three puka shells. another spacer bead, three citrine, another spacer bead, and this is one large ametrine. You know, ametrine is a mix of citrine and amethyst. So I wanted to add that to the mix. I'm going to put on another bead. Three more citrine. Another bead and my puka shells. I'm going to put on my bead and then I'm going to add my shell, which I already have my jump ring on. Bring that down and then start again on the other side. We've got bead, shells. Citrine, another bead, our large piece of ametrine, bead, citrine, bead and shell. Now we're going to wire wrap this end. Come in with our chain nose pliers. Pinch it down at the top, bring the wire to the back, switch out our pliers, put in our round nose pliers, bring the wire up, over, down, rotate our pliers, 
and bring the wire to the back. Now we're going to pinch the loop down that we just made. Come in with our bent chain nose pliers and wrap around. And I'm going to cut off the excess. Pinch my burr. Now we're going to measure this. This middle segment is about five and a half inches. I want to make a 16 inch necklace. So we're going to need 10.5 inches of chain. So let's get our chain out. We need 10.5. Cut that. Now we're going to cut this in half. Open up my jump ring, slip it on one side, put the chain on, and close up my jump ring. Pinch it together. Now I'm going to do the other side the same way. I'm going to open up my jump ring. Add my chain, oops. And close up my jump ring. I'm gonna open up my jump ring, add my chain, this clasp came with a jump ring already attached to it. This is a closed jump ring, so I'm going to leave this on and put it there on my open jump ring. Close this up. I'm going to open up my jump ring, and I will be adding an extension chain, so I'm going to put it on my extension chain, put the other side on my necklace chain and close it up. Squeeze it together and pinch it closed. Thanks for joining me. See you again next time.